Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Gmail account in the new Outlook. So you'll know it's the new Outlook because it will say right here when you open it. And just looking at your app drawer here, it's going to literally say Outlook and in parentheses say new. So um, if that's the Outlook you have, that's what we're talking about here. So the first thing it's going to ask is to enter your uh, email address here. If you're logged into Windows with your email address, it's going to automatically pull that one in there. Um, but go ahead and enter your email address here. And then click on continue. And now what it's going to want to do is sync with your Gmail account. So it's going to open up a browser window so you can log in with your Gmail account right through your browser. So you're not going to have to enter your password into this area uh, right now. It'll open up the browser so you can do that. So then click on continue. And then right here it's opening up uh, your browser it wants you to sign in with your Google account so if you see your Google account here go ahead and select that otherwise um, do whatever the prompts here show you um, if this isn't the account you want to use you can go ahead and click on use another account but this is the account that I want to use so I'm just going to click on it and now here it's asking if we can associate this Gmail account to sign into your Microsoft services. So um, if you want to read through any of the stuff, go ahead and do so. And then once you're ready, click on continue. And then this is going to run through all of the things that it wants uh, your permission to do. So if you want to ch select all of them, just check the box here. Anything you don't want it to uh, have access to do, you can go ahead and just click on those boxes to uncheck them. Um, I'm just going to leave all of mine checked here and then scroll on down and once everything looks good go ahead click on continue and now uh, you'll see a pop-up message asking if we can go ahead and open up the Microsoft Outlook application and so I'm just going to check this box to always allow and then click on open link. You don't have to check this box. Do whatever feels comfortable to you. Um, and I'm going to click on open link. So now it's taking us back to the Outlook app and it is logging me into my account here. And then just has some information here if you want to learn more about any of these different settings here or requirements um, you can click on these links to learn more and once you're ready click on next and then this is just asking if you want to send optional diagnostic and usage data to Microsoft choose your option whatever feels right for you um, I'm just gonna click on no and then click on accept and we're just about done here um, this has your um, privacy settings, information, things like that. So I'm just going to click on continue. Uh, this one is applying settings. So if you have Outlook on the on the web, um, it'll have the same experience as Outlook on your computer. So you can either choose to apply or skip. So I'm just going to click on apply. And here we go. And that's it. That's all it takes. So just a few minutes to get all of that set up. You can run through the tour here if you are interested in doing that. Um, but otherwise, you are now good to go with your Gmail account in the new Outlook. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials. Drop me a comment if you'd like. Um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, uh, any ideas. You guys give me a lot of great ideas. And have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.